a problem has occurred. A very big problem. Yes. First of all, let's go over my new character's skills and stats. Okay? While we're paused, I have time. So, I went ahead and got the high thirst uh, debuff because I was like, oh, that's fine. I'm not going to, you know, have to worry about water since you know, we, we've been having water with us the entire time and, you know, no real issues have happened. We also have slow healer. Because, I mean, if my wounds are bandaged and I'm not, like, in pain or anything, they're not really affecting my ability to do stuff. We, of course, have prone to illness, smoker. Uh, I got weak stomach because, yeah, it's only if you, like, eat stuff that's bad for you, like burnt stuff or rotten stuff. We have short-sighted, which kind of siphons my, my view area down, but that's not too big of a problem. We have slow reader, which you guys are never going to have to deal with. That's only going to be me reading books after we die. And Sunday Driver, which basically caps our speed at 30 miles per hour. Not a big deal. Going that fast was highly risky and really bad for me anyway. So, great. Improved. Uh, we then got Dexterous. Wakeful, which means we need less sleep. I booked Graceful back in. We have Lucky. We have Fast Learner, which means we gain experience faster, which means we can level up our skills faster. We got Thick Skinned and, of course, Strong. So... Knowing that, um, farming is almost maxed out. I read the farming book, went outside, picked some stuff. A lot of stuff was seeded and ready to be uh, picked up, so I went ahead and did that. That got that up way up there. Um, I needed to get level 6 carpentry to make some stairs, uh, which I did because I was here. Let, let, let's, let's, I'll just show you. So... I wanted to try to build up higher, so I put some stairs out here. However, apparently you can't put a third floor. Apparently you can only do two floors or something, because I tried to put a, like, wooden floor at the top of this, but it wouldn't let me, so I don't, I don't know. Maybe I'm just doing something wrong or something like that, but it, it did not work. Also, I don't know why I'm not disassembling that. All right, because it needs a... Thing there anyway um so i was trying to make a little area out here uh because a huge problem just occurred water has been shut off everything that has water currently is what its water is so if we drink from this we can see the tooltip went down because we drank which means anything i fill up or yada yada it is going to be bad so, what we need to do desperately is get a rain collector barrel right here, I think. And then we can apparently use a pipe wrench to connect it to uh, like sinks or toilets and stuff like that um, by putting it on the roof and then stuff like that, uh, apparently. I don't know how it works. I just kind of looked up online how to do it because if you connect it uh, via like that you can then just get purified water and you don't have to worry about this stuff being tainted putting stuff into it then having to cook it and all that good jazz we still have power which is great um yeah but as you can see i harvested a lot of our crops we have a uh, apparently a tree growing right in the middle of our field this stuff is blooming strawberries they're almost ready for harvest uh, which is nice. If we look at the info on them, we can see that they are in a current growth phase 6 out of 7. Which is nice. And then, uh... What, what, is, what is this? Oh. The cabbage is, uh... Apparently a bunch of my cabbage, like, died or something happened to it. It, it wasn't great. Uh, so we got rid of a bunch of that stuff. I also made some composter bins up here because I found out that... The radishes only give you, like, three hunger. So I was like, oh, wow, radishes are kind of bad. So I was like, I'll just throw them in there and get some fertilizer from one of the crops. Let's do that. I also figured out how to move fridges. You can use this here. Go to pick up and pick up the fridge. It has to be empty, of course. But uh, I walked the fridges from the other two houses down here. Uh, down here, because apparently that one we took apart. I moved those two 
into here to have some extra storage space for all of our crops. Now you can see we have a bunch of frozen uh, fresh produce here that'll last until the power shuts off. Speaking of, I'm going to go ahead and eat a broccoli to uh, get ourselves a little bit topped off on health here. Excellent. All right, so normally what I would say where we, we were going to do, right, was if we open up this thing, in order to repair an engine, we need engine parts and mechanics for, but in order to take engine part, wait, is it because it's a different vehicle type? Hold on. When we're looking at the uh, storage van, we needed something better, right? Yeah, we needed this. So I think the type of engine matters, maybe, when we get spare engine parts. But yeah. So we need to get to mechanics higher up as well, but uh, carpentry is our main problem at the moment. Um, we need to level up our carpentry so that we can make a barrel, a rain barrel, at level 7. And then I think I could connect it to, I moved this toilet out here so that it could uh, be connected to the water barrel above it, but I don't know if that's going to work or how that all plays out, so... Yeah, I'm just gonna walk around. So yeah, I went over to this house over here and pretty much turned everything that they had into... You know what, hold on. Into scrap wood. Uh, I'm gonna grab a welding torch and a welding mask. And we might as well, while we're going around leveling up carpentry... We can take some of that stuff too. So, propane torch, grab one. Excellent. And then I need my welding mask. There we go. Yeah, we might as well do that too, right? No point in just doing carpentry when we could. I might need a saw. Because some stuff does require a saw, so let me go grab that. I also put a bunch more barrels out. Uh, not barrels, uh, wooden crates out front here, you can see, because uh, I plan on kind of using this as like a depot to have a bunch of spare car parts, so when we need to fix up our cars inevitably from me hitting poles and stuff like that, we can just do that. Uh, so that's kind of the plan with all those crates, so I'm going to have like windshields and tires and, and stuff like that in them, uh, hopefully anyway. So we're going to go back into here, and as you can see, all the doors and stuff are taken apart, but... We can also take apart this, so we're going to have to just throw this stuff on the ground. And I can disassemble the metal shelves. And we'll disassemble this door. And I'm going to take the planks. But everything else can just stay there. And then this fridge, or not fridge, the oven. We'll disassemble that. I can't disassemble the plain fridge because it's got stuff in it. Of course, I said, put it on the ground. Ooh, wait, melted ice cream? Why is it melted? Wait, hold on, stop. Stop, stop eating that! So eat it! Stop! Stop it! Stop! Drop it now! Oh my god. He's gonna get unhappy from it. Why, why did it make me unhappy? Eating melted ice cream. Why is it melted when it's in the freezer? Doesn't make any sense. Anyway, we're just assembling this damn fridge. Nice, metalworking leveled up. We'll disassemble the fucking sink here, and then we'll disassemble the countertop. There we go. Hell to the yeah. Also, I, I dumped out a bunch of food stuff that we had uh, in here. We don't really need it at the moment. So that's all just kind of on the ground. Uh, everything else has been, as you can see, removed from this house. One thing I should grab is... Uh, more trash bags when I can see them. Yeah, we're going to just go down this row of houses here, leveling up our carpentry and stuff. 
most of the zombies in the area are uh, gone, so we don't have to worry too much about them being here. Well, that rolling pin's on the floor. Let's just throw everything else that's in here out. Okay. I don't see any planks on the floor. I'll take the, the, the nails. Yes, yes. We're just gonna have a nice, calm disassembly day where we're disassembling all of the lovely stuff that our neighbors' houses have here. Ah, I had to speed up before he uh, got to it. There we go. You know, you think with having as high of carpentry as I do, I'd be able to take apart the doors with a higher success, but still only 80. Disassemble the sink. Actually, hold on, before we do that, I'm gonna drink and fill my water bottle. You can see I'm carrying a, a bunch of water bottles at the moment, as I have need for them, just in case we run out of uh, stuff, right? Go, more planks for the plank pile. I do believe that's all the doors and stuff in this house. On to the next one. a zombie. That's what I thought. Some might say that it might be a better idea to destroy everything in the house and then disassemble the front door so I can close the front door after me. And to those naysayers, I say, yeah, you're kind of right, but rue it. We die, we die. At that point, this is my philosophy. We die, we die. There's like no reason to care at this point. Okay, bookshelves, this stuff, get out. All right, so now we're basically full on wood, so I'm not gonna worry about picking stuff up right now. Ooh, metal shelves, my my. Get that metal working up, baby. Ah, God. If you hit the, the fast forward short key, right as he's about to take his uh, tool out in order to do it, he'll just decide, no, I'm not gonna do it. And he'll just stand there idling for some stupid reason. careful about that. Hopefully this doesn't take us too awfully long, because I don't want to be standing here forever. I'd like to have a somewhat entertaining playthrough of us not just hammering away at stuff, right? Hmm. I'm sort of tempted to leave the kitchen sinks here. However, on the other hand, I could just not do that. What about this little fancy table, huh? Ah, damn it, again. Oh, come on. I thought I could maybe queue him up, but nope. Oh, we're already halfway to the next carpentry level, which is pretty good. Tomato paste on the ground.
Alvin, time to meet your maker. Go. Ah, of course, there's stuff in it. Roasting pan. Not on my watch. At least if we uh, end up needing any wood, we can just come back to this house, right? Go. All right, this house has been fully removed of everything. Where's the next house? Across the street? Is that the burned out one? I think it is. Looks like it. Well, there's still some stuff in here I can take apart, like the chair here. I don't know how some of this stuff survived. Honestly, pretty uh, interesting that it did. So another fridge here. A little beer, I'll take that. I'll drink it right now. We got some pickles. Which I hope were uh, not rotten. Of course, there's stuff in it. Why? Why would I ever find something that doesn't have anything in it? Can I take apart the bathtub? No. Hmm. Okay. Well, how about we take a sleep in this burned out house? Forgot to set my alarm. All right, now we can dismantle this bed, right? <clears throat> I said now we can... What the hell? Can I not disassemble this bed? Is there a reason? Hmm. I don't know. Well, that's fine. Time for you to die, Mr. Zombie. Wait, you didn't die? I thought that was the, the <laughs> of his head. And it wasn't. All right, next house. Let's go. Empty beer can. I'm just going to toss that on the ground. All right, now I'll play a little smarter and close the door before I get out of there. Ooh. Gross food on the ground. You know what? Why don't I take this food? I'll make it because I'm a little hungry. So, boop, boop. We're going to have a little bit of bacon, baby. So, on. And then while that's doing its thing... Let's go ahead and throw the rest of this stuff out. Oop. Those. And then we'll just do that and grab that. Hey, cooking went up. Nice. Alright, time to eat this bacon. Eat it all. Mmm. Good stuff. You know, this packaged corn, too, because why the hell not? And let's go ahead and turn off the stove before we uh, dismantle it. I'm going to say bye-bye, stove. And then we'll dismantle the sink. Then we'll dismantle the mini-fridge. How dare you? Let me know. And then we'll dismantle the birch cupboard. Ugh, okay. Oh, those tongs are really, like, they stand out a lot. Disassemble the door. Hello, shower and everything else. Disassemble deluxe shower. Disassemble standing sink. Go ahead and drink out of the toilet. And we'll fill our water bottles again. Disassemble. Fancy toilet. Hell yeah, brother. 
Disassemble. Of course, I can't do that. On the ground. On the ground. Now disassemble it. Oh, really? Huh. A and B is separate from that one. Odd. So I like how this, this house's bed is just out in the open. There's nothing like there. Can I disassemble these? No. Okay. That was this house. Let's go ahead and disassemble the door. Can I disassemble the light switch? No. Unfortunate. Okay. Next house. Oh, yeah. Door's locked. Lock this. Okay, assholes. Oh, cool. I'm bitten, so I'm, I'm just going to die. That's that's great. Fuck it, if this character's gonna die, he's at least gonna earn more experience for our next character. You guys survived a total of one day, y'all. How shitty. Actually, I should probably uh, just bandage these up. Hey, first aid leveled up. Nice. Can I take apart windows? No. That's so annoying. Like, what was the point of me, like, reading all these books if I can't, you know, get everything from them now? Ooh, hold on. Let's dismantle this radio first. There we go. Get a little bit of that electrical experience. Maybe if nothing else, we can at least get to the point where we need to read a new book for most of my skills. That would be nice. Oh, fuck you. Come on. Disassemble. There we go. Got the carpentry level we needed. Okay, then there's this door. This chair. Okay, come here, everything. On the ground. Yep, I'm dropping the food on the ground. Where it belongs. It's floor food now. Alright. Mini fridge. You're getting this assembled next. I think I'll keep going until my metalworking is uh, at the next level. And then we will go back. Alright, Frick, come here. I can't get any worse. I mean, maybe I die, but finally that fucking machete broke. Okay. Anyone else? <coughs> Excuse 
Excuse me. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah, indeed. All y'all just come out here, huh? They have a back door. No. I do have this window, though. Drop this uh, machete on the ground. I'm going to hold on to it for right now. All right, machete up. Well, hey there. I'm for good old home invasion murder. Got him. You know, I'm just going to read this real quick. This one, too. Let's smoke a ciggy. Okay. Now all this can go on the ground. Not the door. Oh my god. Bro. Kill him here. Why didn't you do it? What? It's weird that I had to walk in here to disassemble that. We still need so much. Okay. So we are at 554 right now. If I disassemble the sink, that gave me 554. Four, that gives me 16 experience, roughly. Actually, before I do that, Assemble the oven. Why? I told you to take it out. Come on. This is probably going to be one of the least exciting episodes. I say now, 30 minutes in, when all I've done is. Take stuff apart, but yeah. That's how this is gonna go. Close to metalworking. Once metalworking gets maxed out, there's really only electrical, carpentry. God, it's going to take so long to get carpentry leveled up again. I kind of want to get carpentry leveled up again so I don't have to read the same book again. Anybody home? Hello? Nope, okay.
Oh, that's all gone. Is that, like, part of a bed? I think it is. Yeah, we're getting queasy now, so we know we're infected. Anything in the fridge? Yes, we have stuff in the fridge. Not take the pickles, damn it. Come on, give me that last metalworking experience I need. Come on. Take a look at this car. I have to kill that zombie real quick. Did I just say I can equip a light bulb as primary? Okay, well. Ooh, that stuff's in real good condition, huh? Car key is required? Why is the car key required? I've removed stuff from carts, from cars that didn't have car keys. Kind of rude to just be like, no, you can't do that. Have I read that? I've not read that one. Ooh. Well, oh, this one. I've read that one. Okay. Everything else on the ground. You too. We're gonna start losing health now. I'll let you get out of there, you get out of there. Bridge. Drop all that. I'll take a water bottle. Free water bottle, am I right? Hey, nice metal chairs. Hopefully I can get my game metal working up. Some time to, there we go, baby. All right, don't have to worry about metal working anymore. Since we've met, since we've made it this far, we might as well just go down this other side of the lane and remove everything that's made of wood. I'm not going to do anything with metal because I don't have the three times metal book here with me. Can I remove this? I can. How much does that give? So we're at 3072. Thirty seventy-two. That was quite a bit. You know what? Maybe I'll just disassemble these. We just gotta make sure we can get home before we, you know, expire. We are getting a little tired. So where were those uh, corn that I had? Let's go ahead and eat all that real quick. My guy's just not having a good time. Disassemble. Uh, 
keep an eye on my health there. Come on. Right, it's not the fence I click on, it's the ground in front of the fence that actually is what marks where it's at, so. They came on me here, dude. With this method, we should be able to really quickly get carpentry to where we want it to be. How about you don't do that, sir? You just bite me, sir, huh? Hmm? Look, I know I don't care about this guy, but I'm gonna have to try to keep him alive a little bit so I can at least copy my skills over, right? Disassemble that. Shame. I'm getting pretty tired. How much more do I have left? Oh my god, almost 1,200. Oh. Do not do that, sir. Oh, bro, come on. Put push him back. Why the fuck am I letting him like bite me eight times there? Okay, you know what? Let's head back home. We there's more fences over this way. Why is there a zombie right here though? Come on. Yeah, that's what I thought. When in doubt, use fences, baby. And another one? I think the biggest problem is that right now I'm ridiculously tired. And that's gonna reduce a lot of my DPS. How dare you make me hit you again? Ooh, earbuds. I can dismantle those. Okay. Let's go into this house here. I said, let's go into this house here. Okay, see, the biggest problem right now is going to be that once I uh, start getting sicker, my health is going to go down. But anyway, let's sleep. I'm down to 19 carrying weight now. Just in case. Yeah, let's make sure that's turned on. Okay. What's this trunk? I don't think I've seen a trunk before. Hmm. Nothing important then. How are we looking now? We are 800 away. Ooh, nice hit. Nice and meaty. 
Okay, let's try this again. I don't really need my inventory open, do I? Come on. Give me my next level of carpentry already. I was only planning on doing one level today, but that quickly turned into me dying and not wanting to read the same book for no reason, so... There we go. Okay. So what else is there? There's cooking that we could level up. Electrical's not going to matter at all right now. Um, where the hell is my house? Oh, right. I went very far away. Um, yeah. Cooking is one away. Farming is one away. So if there's any food crops we have there, we can grab those. Um, one, two, four, five. First aid, I guess we could stand on some glass when we die and fix ourselves up like that. Well, actually, if we do that, then I wouldn't be able to uh, learn the journal. I guess I can take the journal with me and before I die and succumb to my loss and back to that. Anyway, we'll consider that in a moment. For now, let's get in here and put away the stuff that we've gotten. nice that electronics, like, barely weigh anything. Nails. Planks. Okay, um, what else do we have in our inventory? I don't know why I'm putting it on. Yeah, actually, um, put that in the backpack. Put that in the backpack too, because we're gonna have to read it. Put that away. Put a machete in there. Screwdriver. The water bottles. All right, the light bulbs need to go in here. And then the aluminum needs to go in there. And of course, that's filled now. Can you go in here? No. My issue is I do not have much more space. There we go. All right. And then I can put the welder mask and the torch back into this one. I can go ahead and drop my fanny pack here. I can take my hammer and everything else. Put it into this bag. I don't even know why I'm wasting my, like, time with the, uh... Might as well take my keys, too. Go ahead and put all that in the bag. Really, that's not going to fit? Okay, well, I guess we're just going to drop that, then. We can go ahead and drop the hiking bag now. I'm going to put these two bottles into here go. And then the garden saw I'm just going to put away over here. There we go. Excellente. Alright, so first thing first. Grab our bound journal for a second. Go ahead and transcribe all of our skills. Come on. Hurry it up. Jesus. Really had to go on out there, didn't you? Okay. We can start harvesting these. I just 
just stop. Max out farming, there we go. Go ahead and transcribe. Excuse me? Why can't I transcribe my information into it? Couldn't transcribe because I dropped my pen. Right. Dang. If I try to do the tweezer method with my feet, I'm just going to end up dying anyway. So let's go ahead and we'll put this back on the shelf. There you go. my own terms, man. Can't stop me. Freedom! I say no to bandages. Let my blood pour out as one does. <laughs> Excellent. Yes. 12 days that guy survived, and you were here for, what, one? That's how long it took me to read things and to try and figure out how to do stuff. So anyway, new character, same area. I say that that stuff is min-max, so we have that. Uh, put up our new character, play. All right, where are we at? Well, it's not a house we've torn apart yet. We are... too far away. I don't want to deal with it. We're just going to go and hope we get a better spawn. What container am I putting these in? I'm just dropping them on the floor. Yeah, yeah. Walk around. Really, really get that stuff in there. Yeah, brother. Get it. Mm. Yeah, just fucking... Oof, taking them a long time to, so, to walk through this, too. Alright, let's just hit this button. Watch your health drain. Did he just explode? I don't even see his body anymore. Oh, there it is. Boy survived for six hours. Not bad. Good job. What a good life that was to live. Where are we at? Oh, nice. We are just north of our place. I think we've actually spawned near here before. Oh, am I not my guy? Aw, oh, man. I didn't, uh... Oh, whatever. What's our name? We are... Rashad Radir. Excellent. No longer are we plague and cheeky. We are Rashara Deer. And we're home! Yay! Alright, my guy. Let's get you settled in. Welcome to your new home. Oh, look at this convenient area that we just so happen to have stumbled upon without, you know, knowing about it before. The survivor must have built a life here. Wow. 
Unfortunately for them, it seems that they are no longer with us. So... I put my keys in the backpack, right? I did. Okay. Thank God. I was gonna be like, uh... Did I fucking forget my keys? I'm just gonna put Rashad's keys in here. Because I'm tired of dropping keys. Alright, my guy, let's, uh, let's gear you up. As they say. The primary. We're on the right wrist. All of this stuff. We're going to right click and go to where. And then he's going to do that. All of this stuff. Right click where. We already have a belt. So you know what? It. I'm just going to leave stuff on the floor. I no longer care. I already have a t-shirt too. Wear that. Attach that to the left belt. Attach that to the right belt. Take these out of my backpack and into my main inventory. Here we go. Alright, let's put the rest of my equipment that we have spares of here into this place. Go. Nice. All right. Let's start off by grabbing the bound journal. Oh, look. Survivor left their bound journal in this house. I'd better read it and determine what they learned, because it could possibly help me in the long run. Wow, I'm learning so much about this uh, survivor and their uh, former life here at this place and everything that they've done to make this place a, a better place. Wow, I'm learning so much. Speed reading. And then we'll read this uh, mechanical magazine once he's done with this. Excuse me? I guess it, uh, I guess he didn't have time to transcribe everything. Okay. So now we're gonna have to read more is what I would say if I was a fucking loser. I'm kind of done doing that right now. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to come out here. We still had crops to harvest, right? Oh, man, they're rotten. I'm going to need a trowel to get rid of them or something. Get rid of them anyway. Oof. Are those seed-bearing strawberries? I think they were. Harvest those. There we go. Blooming, 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 blooming. Okay. Anything else ready to be harvested out here? That I should look at? Ooh, more seed bearing broccoli. Here it was. Might as well just grab all this stuff. I didn't need to speed up time there. Can you move? <laughs> Man, I can't see shit. Alright. I think that's everything for right now. So let's go ahead and return our seeds to the cupboard. And then we'll go inside. Put away our food. Yeah, there we go. And why don't, let's go ahead and eat a strawberry. They don't do a lot, but they, they do cure a little bit of unhappiness. So, you know what? I think that's a win in my book. We'll just kind of alternate our eating there. Perfect. All right. So. Go ahead and transcribe everything that we know into the journal again. We just did, because we barely had to do anything. All right. We just really had to transcribe the uh, last little bit of the farming experience and then that book that we learned up there. Okay. So, now that we have our level of, I guess, eight carpentry, we can create a barrel. But we need garbage bags, which I think is our limiting factor right now, right? Because I don't think we have any garbage bags. 
Yeah, unfortunately we do not. Unless they're here. Yeah, they are. There we go. Okay. Let's take all of these. And then grab our nails. Grab all the planks our backpack can carry here. And let's try this out. So, let me get a pipe wrench down here while I'm at it. Okay. Pipe wrench, pipe wrench. There we go. Excellent. So, if we go up here, this is kind of technically a roof, right? So, if I right click, go to carpentry, go to furniture, go to the barrel, rain barrel, I place this here. Can I then right click it? And. Hmm. I'm not getting an option to do anything here. The, the Google and people on there were saying that you could choose to pipe to, but I'm not getting any of that information. Hmm. Was that? I thought I saw like a zombie walk around over there. Hmm. Can't walk up any further. I did see a zombie. I just heard one. Hold on. Um, zomboid pipe from water source. Plumbing. How plumbing works. It's a somewhat obscure feature. Yeah, no shit. Uh, there's no visual indication when a water fixture like a sink is successfully connected to a water reservoir like a rain barrel. Beyond the ability to draw water from the fixture. Plumbing has no skill level and does not, uh, does not use pipes or other resources to do it. To plumb a water fixture, a player needs to have a pipe wrench in their inventory. Once the water fixture and reservoir are in position, right-click on the water fixture, not the reservoir, with a pipe wrench in your hand, and select it, the option will pump it. So as long as, according to this, as long as the water containers are placed in any 3x3 three three tile above an object, uh, including directly above it. It should work. So, first of all, machete, uh, equip. What's going on down here? Hey, you. Where, uh, where your bitch ass come from? I'm gonna barricade this window. Now that they broke through it. I think that's going to be good enough. I need some tweezers in order to do anything with that, though. I was like, did that zombie have four gas cans on him? But no, it was just my thing there. Okay. So let's get him out of my area. You know, I'm just going to put him in the field over here. He can become manure for my uh, forest growing over here. You can see the trees, the small little trees that are like growing up and stuff like that. So the sink should be right kind of above here, right? But I'm not getting any option to do anything. <gasps> Plum chrome sink. Wait. Plum chrome sink. Yeah, so now it's attached up there. I, I don't know how that worked. I guess it technically is above there? Huh. Okay. Interesting. Well, as long as that worked. Uh, let me go... Do I have tweezers down here? Grab some tweezers so I can pick up these damn things that I don't know if I can put up here. Um, I think I'm gonna make one more. Okay. So do 
I have to do that again then, or? No, okay. I just can't use it yet because there's nothing in it. And then can I do this now? No. Okay. I'm not sure where the cutoff is at. Okay. Pick up a broken glass. Got it. Okay. I'm gonna put that in my miscellaneous box. Hmm. If I go carpentry, there's I need, I need 15 planks. So many. That's eight. Then 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 27 more? I'm just gonna do that. Let's go! I don't know how I'm carrying all this without dying, but okay. So what I'm, I'm gonna build something here. Um, and I'll do those two. So let's put it here. Okay. Wait, did it? Oh! Oh! Okay. I wasn't expecting to be spawned on the stairs. So it does have a top here. Okay. But I can add a couple of wooden floors. If I, you know, had more stuff. Alright, so now I'm out of planks. Right, makes sense. Okay, so now I can put some rain collector barrels up here, and if I get like a sink, I can put one out here. Um to really fill it up. Or just like a circle of sinks, even. You know, kind of do that. What is what is this? Okay. Anyway, we have plenty of planks that we can go grab with a vehicle that are just kind of over in the, the town over there, so that's fine and dandy. There's one thing I want to check real quick before we do leave for the day, or wrap things up anyway. I'll go ahead and put away my garbage bags and the nails and stuff. I'll put the tweezers down here with the rest of my stuff. Well, not the rest. And the pipe wrench can go away, too. There we go. Okay. So I wanted to check. If I grab my propane torch and welding mask, I should have the option to do some metalworking. So I can make containers, shelves, crates... I wish it told me how much these carry. If those would like have a lot of space in them, that'd be that'd be great. I could use those instead of these wooden ones. We've got a big locker. I could use that for like guns upstairs, possibly. A uh, big locker. We have walls and fencing. Fence. Yada yada yada. With doors, we have a pull door, a double wired fence. We have a metal roof, carpentry. Oh, that's just all metal work, never mind. Mm, okay. Gotcha. I was just curious about that. I wasn't gonna make anything quite yet. Oh, I guess there's one other thing we need to do real quick. We need to see where that zombie came from. Did they tear a hole in my wall back here? Huh, I don't see any holes. Are these logs that have just been sitting here for like ever? Take them. Why not? What are these? Young strawberry plants. Gotcha. Might as well harvest the rest of these strawberries that we can before I forget. Looks like for strawberries. The last step for them is the seeding stuff, so that's great. Good news is we don't have to worry about um, getting food for a little while. We have plenty of fresh food here and all that good jazz. And we have plenty of canned food, too. We haven't even touched the canned food, y'all. Like, it's insane just how much canned food we have. 
Yeah, it's strange. I do not see where that zombie would have came from. He must have, like, came in here, wandered up this way, and then, like, for some reason decided to go after that window specifically. Um, I'm going to remove the broke. Nope, don't remove the broken glass. I don't have tweezers on me. Actually, I don't think it matters. Huh, whatever. Yeah, there's no plum option here, so. Cool. Alright, well, I, we're going to wrap things up for right now. Um, these are our skills currently at the end. So, next time when we come back, what we're going to want to do is try and level up mechanics. Because we need to get a new hood, a new engine, basically a new everything for that truck down there. And luckily, there's two trucks up north of us, or I guess up this way of us, right? It was kind of northwest, really. Um, we need to go up there and try to dismantle those or take them apart. Uh, and if we don't have high enough metalworking mechanics, I forget which is which for the engine thing. We're going to have to figure out how to do that and probably just go house to house breaking shit again. So we'll figure out what we need to do in order to remove engine parts from those two trucks up there. And then, when we figure that out, we can level up to the point we can do that. Then when we have the equipment we need, we can go take them out, get the engine parts, go back down to our main truck down south at that gas station that we had a horrible time with, and recover our drug stash. So, yeah, that'll be the game plan. That's not all going to happen next video. That's going to happen over the course of the next couple videos. But, you know, that's just kind of how it's going to be. Um, yeah. I think that's all for right now. There's not much else we're going to do. So I'm just going to you know, end here and we'll just kind of pick up right after. I'm not going to do anything off work. I'm, just, I'm not even going to bother reading books unless we have to do them. It, like I said, it took 12 in-game days uh, of reading to get everything back up last time. So fuck that. Bye for now.